Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome back to our Animal Crossing Let's Play here on Callan. I'm very excited to be back and I apologize for this being a bit late. Also, you might notice that this is a little bit different. I do actually have a new camera. Now I feel like not all of the settings are perfect just yet, so bear, bear with me as I might figure something out and this might change a little bit over the next couple of episodes. But we have the camera back and we have a new camera, which allows me to now have my phone with me, uh, which is really fun because I think in one of the next episodes, we'll finally tackle like filling up our museum a little bit, maybe. Um, also, just very, very, very briefly before we get into it, um, I did say in the previous episode that I was going to probably do a couple of episodes without a face cam. Um, that didn't end up happening because I actually didn't end up recording any more episodes than that one because I've just kind of been a little bit like, I don't know, stuck with Animal Crossing. Like, don't get me wrong, I've got ideas. I've got like island ideas and everything and stuff happened. Um, Monday was, this is actually something I wanna talk about today, so we can. Uh, Monday was my birthday, which I'm not saying, so you say happy birthday, by the way. I just wanna say that it, it was a wild day and my community uh, over on Twitch surprised me, which I'm fairly sure a bunch of you are also watching the Let's Play actually, um, but a bunch of you surprised me and I now have an OLED switch, which is still kind of mind blowing. So um, all the island ideas are happening. Um, I'm gonna I apparently be starting a new island at some point and um, yeah, but every time it actually comes to decorating, I'm kind of like, wait, <laughs> how, how does that work again? Yeah, so that's exactly what happened with this island too. So it's been kind of like, yeah, but up in the air. But in general, I still obviously want to very, very much continue this. And so today we are finally back on Kellen. And I think today we will work a bit on the farm that we ended up working on last time also. Um, now, last episode was a bit of landscaping kind of all over the place, it seems like. I think I did like a 700, 700 different things. <laughs> I started a lot of landscaping process and like pathing progress and didn't really end up finishing anything So I kind of maybe want to get back in on that today um, We have a little farm area here that we wanted to include now I'm pretty sure that we per currently got the wrong person living in that spot, right? Because I think we wanted Daisy Yeah, Daisy is supposed to have the laundry area I don't know if I had this area planned differently to start out with but Daisy is supposed to live here and then Alice will live where Daisy is. So at some point I'm gonna have to switch their, switch their houses. Um, then I also, this river here, not a big fan of it. I think I'll close that and just bring it over to this side, uh, which actually I might just do quickly. So basically this is gonna be um, like a little secret path, I think, just for if you need to get somewhere a little, little bit faster. So I don't mind if you have to like hop at some, at some point, hop at some spot. So I think what we'll do instead is we'll actually bring this water just like over there to the side and then actually maybe we'll, we'll um, include it into the farm bit. So what if that just kind of flows here, you know? That's kind of the idea that I had. And then obviously, oh my god, Tutu's outfit? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, that is so sweet. I actually also, I don't even know how I got that idea just yet but uh, just now but um I was thinking about maybe going back and celebrating my birthday here on Callan as well because I only celebrated it on um Calathea which is my forever island and Flurry wasn't at my party which is kind of rude uh Flurry I don't think has ever been at my birthday party in Animal Crossing and I'm kind of hurt by that <laughs> not gonna lie I'm a little hurt by that but um yeah so I, I thought maybe I will take my my chances or take my chance, is that the right saying? And see if she would show up on Callan. I actually kind of, I almost kind of doubt it. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. Because the issue with Flurry, the issue with Flurry is that she is absolutely adorable and super sweet, sweet and cute and heckin' <laughs> Like, I don't know, I, I just, I love her, you know? But she is a normal villager, which makes her dialogue just, not to be mean, but like boring. <laughs> So I actually don't really talk to her all that often. And so I don't think she thinks that we're besties, even though we definitely are. And I don't say that lightly because I don't like to use that word quite often. Okay, so plan number one, we're gonna destroy this rock because we do plan on doing a rock garden in the back 
yep, in the back corner. So we can have these, um, you know, in our decorating. We've got Flick here today. And then our plan was to have like a two-tiered uh, farmy bit. So there's a bit of farm stuff going on here. And I think we'll continue it down here. And I think we will just... Yeah, I won't have like the water continue. I will just have that flowing there. Maybe we can put like a, a watering can or something so that it almost seems like you got your water supply there. Um, I think I will continue with that stripey design because I quite like the idea of it on this island, I think. Um, and so, yeah, I don't know how to really make a farm look coastal though. I think I want to switch up the designs here and then we might have to include Oh, we might have to include a tree somewhere to make everything like a bit more like detailed and pretty. This could be a tree, right? I I should get like a small... Do I have a small tree anywhere that I could use to try this out with? <laughs> the typical, you know, the, 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 the typical thing. I don't seem to back here. I will say though, our map, you know what, is actually looking quite cute. I, um, I kind of, I, I quickly just looked at the last episode so I knew kind of what... What is she looking at? Is she looking at the tree? Holy crap, that's so sweet. <laughs> oh yeah, let me take this tree. Sorry, Gala. I'll just I'll just grab something from our finished area, you know, to try something. Uh, don't I I don't want to make that a habit, you know, and then just not returning stuff at least. Um, but yeah, I was I was checking out the episode just quickly to see kind of what we've been getting up to in the last episode, and I will just say. Um, I, I really like this island a lot, like a lot, a lot. Okay, question. If I bring that cliff in one more, could I move it to the left a tile? Because I feel like maybe, but I don't think I can. No, that's like not going to be a tree. That would be a good tree spot though, right? Like this would be a much better tree spot than, than the one on the right hand side because we can actually make it... Um, it's just gonna go back. Yeah, it's just gonna go back. Okay, cool. <laughs> Is my face cam bigger than than usual? By the way, I'm not sure. Um, I do I do know though that the autofocus is a bit weird as of right now. I'm gonna see if I can hopefully change that a little bit because it is very uh, sensitive. Because um, like as soon as I move a little bit, it kind of starts like or tries focusing on the background. And plus, this lamp is a little bit like too bright. I feel like. Yeah, I think that's a good tree placement. And I mean, what we could do is, that's already pushed to the side, right? We can try and like pull this a little bit further back so we make that cliff one more tile wider so it doesn't look as weird. Yeah, okay, and then, I mean, that farmy bit probably has to be adjusted a little bit, although it's not the worst. It depends on like what we put behind the house, but I mean, we could also do like another farmy bit that just continues, kind of like this. Uh, nope. <laughs> kind of like here, you know? So it, it, it kind of depends. I guess like that wouldn't be the worst to have it wrap around because there can't be, there can't be a tree like in this spot anyway. Yeah, that might be a good idea. And then let me just see, that could be a tree. And then, I mean, I guess we could do, excuse me. I think this cliff was supposed to kind of sh go further back. So like the tree placements here could definitely change. But like there is a bunch of possibilities then, right? We could do one here or maybe like closer there, maybe closer here. And then if the if the cliff continues, we can do one like there, you know? And then it's it's nice. It's a nice like little triangle shape with the tree, I guess. <laughs> okay. Um, right. So with that path here now having like a little bit more room to play, I think we're gonna actually use that, shape it up until that point. Maybe put like a seed back here instead. Uh, can't be a tr can't be a cliff though, um, because tree placements around cliffs are super weird. Do we do like an overgrown farm, or do we just like? I mean, I, I guess we can leave a few. We can leave like a few uh, weeds around, right? I feel like that would be maybe good. Okay, I think I'm gonna take these two away. And then bring our little stripey design there. If this is a path, it would be nice to have like a little bit of fencing so that that works out. Um, and then maybe the next part is like start it here. And then goes until this point maybe. I hope I'm not like just taking away these uh, these weeds in, like, in, in vain. Is that the word? No, like for nothing, you know? Um, I think I took... 
Yeah, I took my slingshot out of my pocket. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, dang it. Okay, and then we can do another stripey design, maybe until this point here. Okay, and then I think we have to figure out how far the the farmy bit would go at all. Um, okay. And then I guess, you know, the farm can continue on this side. I really like the stripe thingy. I'm not sure if I'm overdoing it on this island, maybe, uh, if that's a little bit too much right now. But um, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing it. I think it's cute. I still have to figure out how to do like a coastal farm. I think that I've been in some parts also leaning a bit more, like too much towards pink, which is shocking to be honest. <laughs> But um, I think, yeah, maybe it's been a little bit too too pink lately to really like be a coastal island in that sense. But um, it's okay. We still have like a lot of the island that's not not decorated just yet, so um, it could really be fine. I want a gap here, I think, and then have that continue. Is that on a half a tile? Hold on. What? I'm confused. Windmill, place. Oh, okay. Th this would be like a full-on tile, and then there would be like a tile in front that's like... free space. Or... we bring it... it should work here, right? I think that should also work. Uh, actually, we need to push it more over there, and then to the bottom. Yeah, that could work. That actually could really work. Um, let me take a picture of that, maybe. Do you think this could be a cute, like, for and after picture? I have been... I... Oh, forgot how to take pictures. Oh, this is embarrassing. I need to get my, my decorating groove back. Holy crap. But it's also been really weird. So the main thing I'm struggling with at the minute is my Forever Island. And I think that's because... I want to make a video about it, by the way. But um, I think that's because I keep calling it my forever island. And so that puts like pressure on me. And I'm like, oh, it needs to be perfect then, right? Um, yeah, so that's a bit weird. Also, I said the thing about my birthday and then was like, oh, we're going to talk about it. And then I didn't. So um, basically, I'm a little too excited today, I think. Um, but basically, the uh, entire thing that I wanted to talk about was, um, was the fact that I started this Let's Play, I'm pretty sure like a few days after my birthday, right? I think, didn't I say something? I feel like I remember saying something like, I started this Let's Play or I started this island like two years and two days after my very first island, which made it like very, very special to me. Um, I think so, right? Which means this Let's Play has been going for like an entire year now, which I guess like happy, Happy anniversary, <laughs> you know? And so I had this idea as I was taking a shower earlier, literal like shower thoughts, like for real, um, about how, like, okay, let me know what you think of this, right? Because y'all watching the Let's Play, I, I feel like I want you to kind of let me know your, your thoughts on it, really. Um, I was thinking just before, what if I make a little bit of a progress video um, I'm honestly not really sure. Oh god, wait, can I even fit pathing in here? Um, I'm honestly not really sure how that would work. I feel like it's gonna be close to those Stardew Valley 100 days type of videos, so I think it probably will be like a lot of work, but I'm actually kind of excited about the thought. So, kind of, you know, something along the lines of like, I've been working on this island for an entire year already, or something like that, and it would be more, um, it would be made more into a, like a regular video in that sense. So it's not going to be labeled as an episode in the Let's Play, but rather it's going to be like a, a regular upload video that everyone who watches Let's Play probably will um, will understand a lot better because you've been there throughout the um, experience and stuff. But then I would go with like maybe like episode by episode. I probably would go like episode by episode and be like, okay, you know, as it usually goes, we started off by, you know, picking an island layout. And then I would like recap that we were looking for this and that, and we were doing this and that. And then we chose, um, we chose like this particular island that we currently are working on, obviously. And, um, yeah, I like that patch, I think. 
and then I obviously meant for it to go way further up, which we can do. Um, you know, and then like at some point we'll be like, okay, this is when we, uh, I don't know, day or episode 700. No, that's not true. <laughs> it's like when we finally started tackling the entrance, etc. I'm not sure if like the vision I have is coming across, but I feel like, I feel like it might be. Um, but yeah, that was like an idea that I had, uh, which could be like a fun video to get like maybe a nice like recap out there. Um, and then, I'm not sure, maybe even have a few more people get involved with the Let's Play. I'm actually not sure though if that's gonna happen, but that's okay. Uh, but yeah, let me know your thoughts on that. Maybe that could be something cute. Yeah. Um, I do want to do an update on my... Oh wait, this might be... Oh, this might be turning into something inappropriate, hold on. Um, I also do want to do an update on my, um, on my Forever Island because, you know, I did that entire video of, like, uh, pros and cons and stuff, and so I wanted to kind of follow up on it and tell you how it's been going for me, which, spoiler alert, not so well. <laughs> um, and then I did start a new island on stream not too long ago, which I am very, very excited for. Um, can I do like a side piece here and then also have that be a side piece and then it's just like a smaller like windier path I think that's okay um yeah for that one I also oh I still want to do a video kind of with our starting process and like my plans for it because I feel like a lot of people are going to be able to uh yeah relate to that island in a sense I don't want to give anything away just yet but I mean if you look at my website you've probably You've probably seen the island that I'm talking about already. Um, and uh, and then, yeah, my community gifted me an OLED switch, so I'm probably going to start a new island soon as well, which... Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it's, it's so exciting, but it's like, I'm... Oh, my mind. My mind is going wild at the minute. Um, but it's okay. I'm going to take it one step at a time. And if it, I'm not going to start it for another few weeks, then that's also okay. Uh, excuse me display on ground yeah what is it uh like what does it look like if we've just got a straight piece like this not so great right i feel like i want to shift it upwards but i really like that i like this here like i don't want to destroy that tall weed what if i remove remove that and just do like a a longer one here and then maybe just like a separate separate like little patch of patch of the path uh i guess i don't know or this one here needs to move further down like maybe that one needs to be longer okay hold on what if i do these as corner pieces like that and then it kind of shapes around right all the way over there uh that might be better. Yeah, that might be like a little bit better, I think. And then I don't know how it's gonna connect here. I think, did I wanna continue using this one or did I wanna go use the stone path? No, I think I'm gonna continue using that one. I do like that path a lot, I have to say. And then I have the plank pathing connecting uh, Flurry and Tutu, which I guess their houses fit, but I'm not gonna lie, I think I want them to have um, not the round shape houses i want them to have the the others <laughs> all right and then cafe and everything okay in terms of farm though like that could be okay as the layout i'm not sure how far we want to continue it here or if maybe this is also going to be part of it but more like a this is going to be more like a storage area you know um like i actually think it would be cute if we get to have like a storage shed there maybe like a wooden storage shed in this color and then have, I'm not sure if I've got like wooden boxes. Anyway, I don't know at all what I have on, the, on this island. So I need to, I need to like take stock. But I mean, something like this, like a wooden box, you know, like the checkout counter. Um, we do have a regular storage shed. And then we could have like uh, some tools, you know. Yeah, we don't really seem to have any of those wooden boxes. Okay, that kind of sucks. 
I need to write a list of things I need for this island and like, like try and acquire them. But I mean, we could also use like bottle crates and um, like other like stack bags and maybe like a cardboard box. Although those, although those, although those don't come in like cutesy colors. Wow, that took, that took a little bit. Potted starter plants, don't they also come in like a blue? Didn't I use those on Gala's area? I don't have the shopping thing here yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Okay. Let's go, um, let's go and uh, order some stuff then. Because I, I do need to get that shopping thing. I think that makes a lot of sense. Oh my god, Gala is just exploring the space around her house. Yeah, maybe that's like a little bit too much pink there. I mean, if I look at the campsite there, you know, before the pink tree comes into place, I feel like that already looks a bit more coastal than Gala's place looks like. For Gala though, I think it's fine because she is pink, right? So she would have a few more pink accents around her house, I'm guessing. So it could definitely just be, a, you know, changing back and forth. Okay, so uh, I need to shop. Shop to my heart's content. Nook shopping, please. And then I know that the, or I actually think that the wooden boxes uh, don't come in like uh, the nook shopping, but they're like a crafted thing. But uh, what did I want to check? The seed bags. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, those you only order in white and then you customize. Okay, and what about the potted starter plants? There we go. They are, they do come in blue. Okay, we should order them. We should order them in, in blue then. Let's get like three. And then I'm maybe going to get like two more uh, stack bags because I think we're going to, we're going to use a few of them. Okay, cool. So far, so good. Five orders. And then I'm pretty sure the wooden box doesn't, yeah, that's not an orderable item. Do I have it? Like, do I happen to have the DIY though? God, I'm, I'm honestly like scared of the day that I'll do a no uh, online island or like I'm not allowed to like trade or go to treasure islands because I don't even know how I would do it. Yeah, definitely not here. Okay, I do just want to quickly look up though if the wooden box, ACNH wooden box, because I, I've seen them recently being stacked um, and they look really nice like that. The wooden box can be obtained from crafting, which requires six wood. The recipe for this item can be obtained from Peppy Villagers or from a message bottle. Okay, Peppy Villagers. Who is who? Who's Peppy? Pate, right? All right, so we need to talk to our girl Pate. We should generally, honestly, on this island, it is a let's play, right? So I I do want to use a few of the in-game mechanics. So we should chat with them more. I kind of always worry though, because I feel like the thing I have to quote unquote contribute to Animal Crossing is like decorating. And I feel like if I talk to my villagers, like that's too boring. Oh, Dottie is also peppy. Dottie and Pate should be peppy. Alice and Gala are normal. Tutu, is Tutu also peppy? See, why am I, why, why, why do I not know this? Ace and Age Tutu is a peppy bear villager. We've got freaking three peppy villagers. Okay, we sh you, you'd think we should get this recipe, right? Speaking of though, let me also find my message in a bottle from our beach. Hello, Hornsby, how are you? Um, okay. No, no, no. Actually, I do, I do kind of like this landscaping, I think. We need vines on the cliffs there, but generally, I think it's kind of nice. Okay. Eh. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Okay, and then I think I saw Dottie being home, um, because I'm pretty sure bamboo hat, which I already know. Great. You know, since we're here, why don't we grab a couple of sugar canes? Sure, why not? <laughs> I think the way that I want to try and make this look somewhat coastal, I guess, is by using... I wanted to use some turnips. So I think we'll do like a small little turnip patch. Uh, and then I think mostly green and maybe we can work in like some cauliflower stuff. And potatoes are great too. Not really to make it look coastal, but just to... Just because potatoes. Potatoes are amazing, so <laughs> I want to plant some of those. Um, all right, and then I still have my shrub storage here. Ooh, kind of annoying. Yeah, I remember. And then I, d I know that I didn't like this landscaping here, or waterscaping. Okay, here's to hoping that Dottie is crafting right now. Fingers crossed. 
Dottie is crafting. Dottie, if you are making a wooden box right now, I will, I will, I will kiss you, but I'll ask consent first because that's important. Oh, were you talking to me? Sorry, I was way in the DIY zone. Uh, but please tell me, what are you up to? Um, well, I'm making a giant teddy bear. I dreamt the idea when I fell asleep watching Maglevs in Love. It's about trains in love. One of them, hang on, not important. It doesn't matter if Maglev Mike took their relationship off the rails because I'm building a thing. Hey, Meline, do you want to know how to make a giant teddy bear too? Honestly, kind of, I don't, but you know, why not? <laughs> Give me the recipe. I would have preferred a wooden box, which honestly is kind of a weird recipe for Peppies to, to teach you. Um, but you know, why why not? I'm honestly here for it. <laughs> Alrighty, we can craft a giant teddy bear now. Yay! You know, her house is really cute, by the way. Which, speaking of, we did do Gala's house, right? We still have to cr like decorate all their houses also. But I think we'll tackle that whenever we actually get to their... Their apartments. Oh my god, Tutu! You look incredible! Are you gonna do some yoga? I need- can I get some motivation please? Because I want to do yoga. I've, I I really do want to get back to being a little more active. You know, I'm like- I'm like in my mid-twenties now and I feel like it's starting to be like much more important to be active, like even more so than when you were young. Um, and I, I see- I have these cravings to be- to be more active, but then I never really- I never really get around to it, you know? All right, so, ooh, I like sugar. Sugar cane is really pretty. I'm trying to think of what I want to mix this with, because I feel like it'd be cute if there's like the turnips here, and then maybe we can have potatoes by her farm. Uh, and I'm like torn between mixing it just with like regular weeds, which is something I usually do a lot, or also to mix it with uh, flowers to maybe bring in more of that white color, you know? Because like, this isn't gonna be like a flower farm. Oh wait, don't plant it in the, plant it on the soil, please. There we go. You know, and then I want to fill it with a few more, I think. But like, it kind of would be cute. Let's say we're putting like a white hyacinth between. I've been thinking about. On one of my other islands, I've been thinking about making a corn farm, which I want to use like a mixture of sugarcane and yellow hyacinths for. But like, why not have, you know? And then maybe we just mix it up and we really fill it so that the white hyacinths are like a little bit more hidden here and there. That actually could be like a little cute, right? I mean, and then maybe, maybe this isn't, maybe this isn't one. Maybe this is going to be like, um, this is going to be like a weed or something. Right. Okay, let's grab, um, let's grab the rotten turnips. <laughs> Yum. Because that's a good farm, right? But let's grab the rotten turnips just so I can map out the, the space needed. Uh, and then let's also get like a couple of white hyacinths there we go uh a couple of white hyacinths and a few more of the sugar cane because they have a feeling we're gonna we're gonna need them all right we're gonna need them all what what you up to hornsby how's it going for you hi it's me hornsby uh yeah i want to chat i love long walks they keep your feet entertained yeah but like i mean i guess but like ugh, they're so boring because like literally walks, like going on a walk is just kind of like, well, okay, so now what? Because <laughs> you'll be there and you'll be walking, but like, what do you do with your thoughts? And like, what do you do? I don't know. It's weird, right? Or is that just me? It might just be me. <laughs> I don't know. I always get this craving of like wanting to be active and move towards like 11 p.m. And then I'm always like, okay, great. Well, this is not the time, you know, like I can't, I'm not going to do that now. Okay, um, let's leave these two here, just randomly two or three of each left behind, and then I'll grab a couple of hyacinths, if I have any. Oh yeah, I do, okay. <laughs> I thought, like, I didn't have any. I don't know, it's weird because every time I play on this island, it's, like, it's mostly just during the let's play, pretty much, and then I, I feel like I forget the stuff that I have. Like, I've got no overview of, like, things I even own on this island, you know? But that's okay. Um, 
because I can just take stock whenever we do play. And then I just need to be better at making like a list or something. Um, okay, wait. Eh. Let's go back to our farmy bit. Um, let me see. We've been here for what? 33 minutes. Okay, that's okay. Probably like a little bit less if I edit out some, some pauses and stuff. Ah, doesn't that just look delicious? I mean, who doesn't want to have a spoiled turnip type of farm? Right? Well, it's it's just beautiful. I think this could be cute though. I mean, we're gonna have to like time travel at some point and like try to just get like actual turnips so that I can check out what it looks like for our DA and for like the plan that I've got here. And then I think it would almost be cool if the rest of this could be like pansy seeds. Or like pansy sprouts. They look actually really nice and nice and close to like the, the top of the turnip. Which doesn't look great as of right now. I'm very aware of that. <laughs> but, you know. Okay, let's make this one here a white hyacinth also. That's really cute. I actually really like this. And then maybe we need to have a, a mixture of, of shrubs and seeds. Maybe. To have like a little bit more height there. Let me try that out in a second. Okay, I want this to be a sugar cane. And then I think I want... Maybe this here is going to be a white hyacinth and a sugar cane next to it. And then let's do sugar cane. Um... What if the hyacinth is here? It's like glitching a little bit into the um, into the mill thing. I don't even know what is it called. Windmill? I think windmill might be the word. <laughs> okay, sugar cane goes here, and then for like filling purposes, sugar cane could go on both there. Oh no, I'm missing one. Dang it. Actually, maybe that's okay, though. Maybe this is fine. <laughs> maybe just one is fine. Ah, uh, F. F in the chat. <laughs> okay, okay. Apparently we get something, though, because we ripped it. Oh, and then also the points just reminded me we should do some stretching every once in a while. Like in Animal Crossing, if possible. Oh, yeah, trash tools. 50 trash tools? What the heck have we been doing on this island? <laughs> Wait, okay, what type of tools have been have I been trashing? I know that I've been trying not to use golden tools though, right? Is that correct? I think I didn't cheat my way to golden tools on this island. Watch me scroll down and then I did. I'm like, oh. Oh. Actually, I don't know if I cheated my way there though. 10, 10th of April 22. Well, I, that, that's not to be trusted because I time travel. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure, was my island maybe five stars at some point? I don't know. Actually, that's not bad. I don't know if like maybe there is a little bit too much green because there's like three sugar cane like right next to each other. But honestly, it, that should be fine. And then we can use like a. Yeah, we can we can use like some some weeds in between and maybe put like a shovel down like a couple of decorations. Right. And then I think it would be cute if this is like going to be a little storage area. I'm, I can I can try and do like a mock-up of a storage area. I don't think I can really succeed though because I don't have a lot of the stuff that I would need. Okay, ew. <laughs> Great farm, really awesome. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, get something out and then let me see if I have... Um... Yeah, we could use like this type of shovel, you know? Uh, I was going to grab something else, though. Oh, yeah, I was going to see if I have any seat bags. Cosmos, Hyacinth, Lily, Mum, Tulip. Right, so I have everything but what I need. Great. <laughs> that sounds just about right. Okay, cool. Um, I think I might want to do... Let's see, let's see. I've got more potatoes with me. Potatoes. Um, there we go. That 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 just disappears, doesn't it? I think this definitely needs to be a potato also. And then maybe like this isn't. 
That almost makes it look a little empty. What if this is and the, the other isn't? So it just generally is like a bit more filled up. Yeah, I don't know. It's missing like a little bit of the of the the specialty, you know? Like I just don't want it to be like too repetitive. Sometimes that can be nice, but other times I feel like it's it can be a little weird. Um okay, and then the other thing I wanted to I think include in the farm because of like color purposes. Like I feel like a lot of the the the, the actual crops that you can use are amazing. Oh, we could do pumpkins. Oh heck, we haven't done pumpkins. Right. Pumpkins are really cute. Well, we should do oh, we should do pumpkins. <laughs> Maybe we can add some more farms. Let's see in a second. Pumpkins are amazing, but then like, you know, I'm not going to do um I'm not going to do tomatoes or carrots or any other like color of pumpkin because they're just like not really fitting. Like if I feel like the surrounding the surrounding parts is everything is like white, blue, and green and like a little bit of pink and then we just have this like bright red tomato um that feels a little bit out of place for me even though obviously that would be the correct way to go um i'm gonna grab some wooden fence and then i don't know like i'm gonna see if i can go to my nooks maybe and see if i have if i have the ability wow uh to oh i wanted to check for another item uh, to to purchase some pansy seeds because those just look pretty I think in combination with the turnips um, And and I genuinely like to use them like on the beach and stuff also because they're really nice All right red. Yeah red pansies. Maybe we can get like white ones white pansies So they're like a little, a little bit less intrusive if they actually I mean because they will grow, you know We'll have to replant the those on the day that we upload our um, our DA so uh, it all is a bit more complicated. Okay, so far so good. And then maybe we can grab a couple of uh, shrubs to mix in also. And then that means we can d diminish our farm a little bit. I have so many hibiscus shrubs. That's so weird. I think I like this one for the farm idea. I also think hydrangea could look like something. I'm not sure if there's actually a plant that you can grow uh, like on a farm that actually kind of looks like this. But it reminds me of a coffee farm I did on uh, Neverland back in the day. So that always just has like a coffee plant type of vibe for me, even though that's probably very incorrect. I think like there is a coffee plant in the game, which I feel like it even is closer to the plumeria, right? Like maybe those would even be closer than the hydrangea would be. This, this, this corner here, I don't know. It looks so weird to me. It looks so, so weird. Can I bring this in closer? I can. Oh, maybe that solves it. I mean, not really. Not really fully, anyway. Oh, it looks so weird on the, um... On the map, too. I don't know. <sighs> Water escaping can be so fun, but it can be so frustrating, too, you know? Hmm... I think I might like that a little bit better in terms of the, uh... Yeah, this can be so much closer to the, um... To the cliff. Maybe that's a solution. Do we think so? That would make the river wider without taking away any space for decoration purposes. Let's see. If I try to round all the corners that I want to round right here... That definitely makes the river much wider, uh, which I, I I tend to do very small rivers, to be fair. Maybe that's not too bad, though. Just like a little bit of a river flowing behind a behind the cliff there. I mean, in terms of the way it looks like now when you run across it, I think this is kind of cute. I think that works for me. Okay, sorry. Got distracted. ADHD brain. <laughs> which I don't know if I really actually have that, by the way. Um, that is uh, a little distracting. Okay, so back at it again. And then I was thinking we could have some shrubs to help along. Uh, oh, pink azalea shrubs, beautiful. You know, like here. Kind of like this. 
And then maybe we'll have another one like right there. The, the vibration of the controller there was like really weird. Um, and then maybe here. Or, like actually wait, maybe not here, but next to it. God, I need to be careful about these weeds. I don't want to destroy anything that I don't need to necessarily, you know? Uh, and then the other one goes here. All right. And then obviously we've got a couple of turnips. I think we might shift those around a bit. I'm gonna probably get one more for like here. And then the rest here, just to demonstrate, just demonstrate what that would look like. The white pansies would go like in between as though those are still growing turnips. And I think this would be another turnip. How do we feel about that? Do we think that could look cute? Because I feel like hopefully it, maybe it would. And I want to see if we can put some fencing here to make it look a bit, a bit more coastal by including like a bit of the blue. Like that. And then we remove this piece again. Yeah, and then I guess like this is just this is gonna be a tree um, and I do think we're gonna do um, a fruit tree I don't want to take the stuff away from the other area though So I'm gonna grab a sapling and or like a actually we need to get grab a fruit uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab fruit and that needs to be a third stage third stage Fruit tree like a like a hardwood uh, is the word <laughs> Okay, here's our peaches. There we go. Yep. And then, I mean, uh, I don't think I've got my, like, workbench with me or anything like that. How long have we been going? Oh my god, okay, I need to get to an end of this episode. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to see was a mum cushion. But mum cushions, I apparently have one. I'm not gonna get that far with that. <laughs> I'm not gonna get too far with one mum cushion cool uh let's put a peach here peaches 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 peaches, peaches. uh and then i guess like this will leave empty for the stunting that would make sense i think that could be cute though and then i'm i mean i'm i, I want to almost put like a a weed field here so it, it kind of continues that like higher but although like the tree is going to be there so we're going to look at that yeah. Uh, imagine these turnips to not be spoiled, right? <laughs> I'm really gonna have to, you know, you're gonna have to imagine that. And then I guess, like, we could put... Oh, I took the shovel. I My shovel broke, but I took this one for decorating, kind of. I guess, like, that would be fun here, maybe. Place that. And then maybe pull that all the way over here. Also could actually, those could be t like tiny trees or they could be like something else planted or something. Yeah, the shovel here is not bad. Did I get the crack code? I'm sorry, I said I was gonna get to an end and then look at me just continuing to decorate. I don't have a crack code on this island? Ah, what am I doing? What am I doing? I need a crack code on this island because that would be fun underneath the shovel. Okay, cool. Right, so, turning that this way, let me grab an actual shovel, and, uh, and then we'll wrap it up here, and we'll continue next episode, because the farm still needs work, you know? And we'll continue to need work. I'm gonna have to get some items, I think. Um, yeah, let's get into position. You can just see Tutu's ears. <laughs> That's okay for now, though. All right. Thank you all so much for watching today. I do hope that you enjoyed this episode. Let me know your thoughts on the um, video idea for like the progress thing. And let me know your thoughts on the farm that we've been building. Tutu looks, that looks very cute. <laughs> and then thank you all so much again for watching. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. And then I will hopefully see you in the next one. And until then, have an awesome time. Bye everyone.